This is a garage I built last winter, and I just wanted to post some information if it helps anybody. I did find some on the YouTube that helped me, so I figured I'd return it. Uh, I made a, um, this is a 100 watt panel that I just made an aluminum frame for that mounted on the gable end of my shop. And um, it's really the cost of the whole thing was less than the cable and certainly in burying it. So it was a, quite a good deal on this when it came, came to how much this cost. It's, um, I could say, a small frame. I matched the holes up, and it does pivot. Um, it's got three three bolts that kind of hold it in place, but it's withstood some pretty good winds. It's, it's fairly sheltered there, too. So I'm not too worried about it. There's kind of a close-up on it, you can see there. But, um, yeah, it's nice to weld aluminum. It gives you a nice flexibility here, too. So, um, on the inside, this is, I, I have the, I think, brand, running 10-gauge wire. Uh, down to the Jenison type controller. It's a GV TED lead, lead acid, really nice controller. Uh, it keeps my battery topped up and controls everything. And I did build a printed circuit board there too. It's kind of overkill, but I wanted to control flights and from future expansion on things here too. And I will post the artwork and even the code if anybody's interested. It runs on a little Arduino clone, uh, version 3, as you can see there too. Basically, a little voltage um, regulator takes it down to 5 volts. It's kind of simple. And those red bars are really DC to DC solid state relays. That's how I power my lights in, too, just signal voltage. I'm using these LED lights from a van, um, and they have to be wired into serial. Uh, don't put them in parallel. That will actually take too much current. And, uh, I've had one, I had to reset one of the um, garage door openers a couple times when the battery level dropped down. So, But, yeah, serial, I've never had a problem with that, too. Um, I, and I always wanted the garage doors to turn the lights on. And of course, you have a, need 110 for that. So what I have here, this is a little uh, normally open read relay. And when that magnet gets close to it, well, it makes the connection and tells the computer, hey, and the pin goes high, and it turns the lights on about 120 seconds. That's just plenty of time to get, you know, out of the car and out, out of the garage then, too. So um, it's a nice little thing. On the doors, I mounted the same thing. There's another re re read relay there with a magnet, and so when the door opens, it passes underneath it and triggers it. It's not, not pictured here. I put another one on the doorway, just a regular door switch, too. You can flip the switch on, and it gives, again, 5 volts to a pin and two. On powering the uh, garage doors, there's a little bus uh, or bar then. I just took 12 volts of that and then 12 volts each way to each um, garage door opener, right? use the same spade connectors and the batteries there. The garage door itself does um, close a little bit slower, but hey, I could care less. It works perfectly fine. So um, I hope this helps, and um, I sure appreciated other people's um, information. So uh, JTOTAT is where I'll be uploading the uh, artwork and stuff for the printed circuit board um, So on GitHub. So enjoy.